Hello again, my beautiful people, Jamaica and youth in the building. Yet again, and in this one, we're talking about the Reggae Boys CONCACAF Nations League squad announcement that happened yesterday in New Kingston, Jamaica. Yes, people, the squad has been released, and now we know who will be coming for the game on uh, Saturday, or who will be at the game on Saturday, September 6th, for Jamaica to face Cuba in their first CONCACAF Nations League after 2024-2025 Nations League season. So, we're going to get into it. Before we get into it, I want to ask you to do the usual. Please hit the like button as it sells the video out to more eyes. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button as it helps to send the video out to more eyes and it helps to make the channel grow as well. So, without further ado, let's talk about it. The Reggae Boys, or the CONCACAF Nations League Reggae Boys squad was named yesterday by coach uh, St uh, uh, Steve, um, I, I, I'm forgetting his name now, <laughs> I'm tempted to say Steve Bruce, but it is Steve McLaren, <laughs> yes, um, the, the CONCACAF Nations League squad was named by coach Steve McLaren yesterday, and um, we saw some 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 names that surprised us. And some some names that didn't surprise us as much. Um, in the press conference, the coach said that he was going for continuity, which makes sense. You know, so he he picked I think eighteen um, players from the the Copa America squad, the squad that went to represent Jamaica in the Copa America. Um, he picked at eighteen players. There are some players who were left out because of their 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 switching clubs. Um, so that type of thing, you know. But let's get right into it. Let's name the squad. Goalkeepers Andre Blake, Kanaya Boyce Clark, and Jamal Waite. Defenders Dexter Lembekisa, Deshaun Bernard, Greg Lee, Damian Lowe, Michael Hector, Richard King, Amari Bell, Joel Latibadir, and Ethan Pinnock. And then midfielders, we see Casey Palmer, Karoy Anderson, Bobby De Cardova Reed, John Russell, and Adrian Reed Jr. And then for forwards, we see Shamar Nicholson, we see Norman Campbell. Yes, Norman Campbell, Mikel Antonio, Demara Gray, Kahim Dixon, and Leon Bailey. Leon Chippy Bailey. Yes, that was a surprise in the squad. That was a surprise name in the squad. I want to be the first to say I'm happy to see back Leon Bailey in the squad. You know, I mean, we all know the ordeal that went on over. See, he hasn't played for Jamaica since November 2023, and he had a bust up with the with the with the previous coach. Um, and yeah, him, him, him say he said he wanted a break from Jamaica's football. He took a break, and now he's back. I want to say welcome back to Liam Bailey. You know, I'm glad to see him back in the squad, and I hope he brings that Aston Villa farm over to Jamaica and playing for us. Even though, unfortunately, and you know, but I don't know if I said this now up front. I was just watching the the um the Aston Villa versus Leicester City game, and Liam Bailey limped. He had to come off the field after 15 minutes or thereabout. He felt uh, something in his hamstring because he turned to get a ball, and that happened, and he left the field. I want to say though, it's probably the best thing to do because I know in the past he would have tried to play through that, and it would have made it worse. And then it would have taken him a longer time for comeback. Whereas no, I think even the last time something like that happened, he came off the field immediately, got it looked at, got it worked on, and then he was able to come back into the squad quickly. So I'm hoping that him leaving the field today um, will not affect him coming to play for Jamaica, that he'll have time to recover to come and play for Jamaica. But yeah, I saw him come off the field because he was holding the back of his his um, leg um, when he turned to get a ball. <clears throat> In the game against Leicester City. So, you know, prayers up for Liam Bailey. Hope is not nothing too bad. And I, I, I just hope that he stays injury free and it's 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 not a it's not a major injury. Alright, so let's just do a, a, a little talk about the, 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 the squad. Let's go back to the goalkeepers. I mean, self-explanatory, Andre Blake and Jamali Witt. I mean, obviously you, you take those players, but can I have boys clock? No, Boyce Clark is a is is a very good goalkeeper. You know what I mean? He has done well at the under twenty level. 
Um, you know what I mean? I have no problem with Team Boyce Clark in, 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 in the in the goalkeeping department. He's an outstanding goalkeeper and dare I say no, in the it doesn't matter it, it almost doesn't even matter. If Andre Blake is is um is injured and can't play or have to come off, we have a very good replacement in him in Jamali Way. I know some people feel away about Jamali Way because of some of the performances he had in um the Copa America, but I am not really holding that against him. Maybe that's a lack of experience type thing. Um, but Jamali Witt is a very good replacement for Blake. And and Kanaya Boyce Clark is also a very good replacement as well. So very good in the, the, the goalkeeping department. At pretty much a 10 out of 10, if you ask me. Um, then the defenders, we see Dexter Lembikisa, Deshaun Bernard, Greg Lee, Damian Lowe, Michael Hector, Richard King, Amari Bell, Joel Latibadir, and Ethan Pinnock. So the two standout names in there for me would be Richard King and Michael Hector. Now, for me, I'm glad to see Richard King in there. I think King is a Richard King is a good player. I mean, I I, I really haven't seen him had a, a, a terrible terrible game for Jamaica as yet. You know what I mean? So you know, local base player um does a good job whenever he plays for jamaica so a very good selection the only thing i hope for richard king is that he moves more permanently to an overseas based club because i think he's good enough and we heard rumors of him getting you know um an mls deal but they were waiting for something better in europe and stuff like that so i don't know where that is now but it would be nice to see richard king playing outside of jamaica but a good selection um but michael hector I'm not sure he he's 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 working on getting himself in a club right now. He's not in a club. So um he makes the squad. Not a bad player for Jamaica of late. I mean, if you go back to, to the times before that under Tapa Whitmore, you might have had a different opinion of Michael Hector at that time. But as of late, since he has come back under Hart Hallgrimson and even now, um he has done a decent job in defense for Jamaica. Um, my only concern is that he doesn't have a club. You know what I mean? So, and then when you look at the amount of defenders there, Lemby Kisa, Bernard, Lee, Lowe, um, Hector, King, Bell, Latiba there, and Ethan Penny, that's nine defenders. Um, and of those nine defenders, you could say Pinnock, Latiba there, Hector, King, um, and Deshaun Bernard, those are five central um, center halves, or five, you know, people that can play CD, um, central defense. So I don't know that we need five. So you could uh, you could uh, swap out Michael Hector for uh, for for another midfielder, maybe. But so that's the only um, thing I would say right there. Everybody else, I I like their selection. I'm glad to see Amari Bell back. Um, you know, but Greg Lee has done an awesome job in in left back, you know, in, in the absence of Amara Bell. So it will be interesting to see how that goes. Um I see Lemby Kisa as a as a um as a right back here, but it it it, it, it could be that Latibadir plays right back as well, because I don't see a substitute right back unless you're gonna use Bobby the card over Reed sometimes who who can play that position. But I'm guessing it's gonna be between Lembikis and Latibodir, and then I guess you now when you look back at it again, you might say, well, it's only four center halves in Michael Ekta, Bernard, um, Richard King, and Ethan Pinnock. No, but you have Damian Lowe too. So actually, yeah, no, it's it's, it's actually still five. Latibodir, so Latibodir is still there as a as a um. It seems like Latibodir is there as a right back with Lembikisa, it, it has to be. Because you have Damian Lowe, Deshaun Bernard, Michael Hector, Richard King, and Ethan Pinnock. Those are defenders. La I don't see Latibi there going in there as a defender. Unless, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, unless um, Steve McLaren uses Latibi there in kind of the same way how Hallgrims used them as a, as a, if they play three at the back and put Latibi there there. We shall see. We shall see. But Michael Hector is the only questionable selection that I see there, even though I have to admit that he has done a good job um, in, in, in the past. All right, let's go to midfielders. Casey Palmer, Karai Anderson, Bobby Reed, John Russell, and Adrian Reed Jr. So here is where a lot of people were like, well, where is um, Daniel Johnson? 
a lot of people is glad to see back John Russell because you know I you know a lot of people a lot of fans don't think that John Russell got a fair shake under Halgrimson. He never really got enough playing time, um, and so you know even after a while it seemed like Halgrimson stopped calling him to the squad and stopped using him in general. But no, McLaren has called him back and want to look at him. He's a CDM. He's the only true CDM that I see in the squad. Because Casey Palmer, I think he's more of an attacking midfielder, even though I think he can do some defensive work as well. And Karai Anderson is also an attacking midfielder. Bobby Reed, if you use him as a midfielder, would be an attacking midfielder. Um, Adrian, I'm coming to Adrian Reed Jr. in a, in, a in a second. But John Russell is the only true CDM that you see here. So I'm guessing, based on the midfielders that he has chosen, if he goes with a CDM, it would be John Russell. Now, Adrian Reed Jr. is the, the player that a lot of people have been talking about to say, we don't know, they don't know why he's chosen in the squad. He's a 17-year-old player that plays for Cavaliers in the Jamaica Premier League and also recently represented Jamaica in the um, Under-20 World Cup qualifying campaign where Jamaica was dismal in that tournament. And he actually had a, 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 a very poor tournament in that under-20. And so a lot of people were like, <clears throat> how do you leave from under-20 having a poor tournament and make it to a Nations League squad? You know, so, you know, it, it, the jury's out on him. I mean, a lot of people are upset that he's in the squad. Some believe that, well, yeah, he had a bad tournament in the under-20, but you can't just use that and judge him. You have to look at his whole body of work. And some believe that he's being, um, you know, marketed to to get into a club overseas. So giving him this international cap will help him getting get into that club a little bit easier. So that's what some people are saying. Regardless of where you land on that... <clears throat> I am willing to give the youngster a chance. Maybe he's around better players now. So I would like to see what he's capable of. At 17 years old, if he's able to play formidably at this level, I can I can just only hope that he goes overseas into an overseas club and do well. And, you know, he's groomed into a, a, a top-notch player so that we'll have more top-notch players for Jamaica moving forward. So I don't really... You know, I, I, I'm not really too upset about it. I'm okay with it. <clears throat> but a lot of people say, well, a Tyreek McGee could have come in. But Tyreek McGee has gotten lots of opportunities to play at the, the, this level. Um, Adrian Reed Jr. hasn't. So, you know, that's weird. That's my, my, my you know, thing on that. I, I am fine with him being there. But a lot of people are f feeling a different way about it. Um, and then with the forwards, Shamar Nicholson, <clears throat> Norman Campbell, Mikel Antonio, Demari Gray, Kaim Bixen, and Liam Bailey. With Shamar Nicholson, not in a club right now, but he's currently the leading goal scorer for Jamaica in terms of the current crop of players that we have. So, I mean, he picks himself and hopefully he'll find a, a club soon. Norman Campbell playing well in, um, in, 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 uh, in, in Denmark, playing for Randers FC. Um, he has scored two goals in five games. I think he plays a game today, uh, you know, again, hopefully he scores, but he has been doing well over there in, in, um, in, in Denmark. And I'm glad to see that he has gotten an opportunity. I, for one, thought that he deserved an opportunity a long time ago, but nothing happened before the time. He's here now. Kudos to you, Norman Campbell. I hope that you do well when you come for Jamaica. Mikel Antonio picks himself, not on too much form as of late in the start of the Premier League, but still playing for West Ham. So, picks himself. Damari Gray, one of our best players. Kahim Dixon just got that move to, to, to Charlton Athletic. So, I'm glad to see him back in the team. And then, of course, Leon Bailey, the, 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 the surprise pick. The, the, um, as, we, as I said earlier, uh, Michael Ricketts, the, the president of the JFF, said that Liam Bailey actually um, signed a letter or wrote a letter or indicated in letter form, in some format, that he would be available for this game. So we are glad to see Liam Bailey back. Welcome back, Liam Bailey. We just hope that you carry that form from Aston Villa over into <clears throat> the Jamaica squad. And we will move on from strength to strength. So there you have it, everyone. It's the 
Reggae Boy Squad announcement. I'm excited to see Jamaica take on um, Cuba at National Stadium on September 6th. And then a few days later, Honduras. In Honduras, um, come out and support the national team. If you are in Jamaica and you're watching this video and you get this far, I just want to implore you to come out and support the national team. Go in the stadium, buy your ticket and go in there and sit down and cheer on um, the reggae boys as they take on Cuba in the Nations League. We need the support. Jamaica needs your support. But I'm going to leave it there, everyone. On your way out, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, take care of yourself. Walk good. I'm out.